Hello, welcome to Sustainable Truth. Majority of car manufacturers are going EV, but do we have enough materials for everyone? Stay tuned and find out. BMW announced that they want to invest billions into battery manufacturing and aims for 1.5 million cars by 2030. Between 2020 and 2025 GM will invest 35 billion in EV and AV product development spending, exceeding GM's gas and diesel investment. Ford CEO Jim Farley said Ford plans to build more than 2 million EVs in 2026, about one third of its annual global production, with EVs rising to 50% of its total volume by 2030. We also have more legacy automakers going the same way, as well as a lot of new startups such as Lucid and Rivian. And this is not even talking about China's BYD, NIO, XPeng, etc. Tesla, of course, dominating the market and setting their goals even higher. Tesla has famously set a goal to be able to produce 20 million electric vehicles per year by 2030. At the meeting, Elon said that he believes Tesla will need about 12 gigafactories in order to achieve that goal. So we would assume that it's safe to say that by 2030, half of all new cars sold should be electric. And that's being very generous with the numbers. Although we have a lot of battery manufacturing companies such as LG Chem, BYD, Panasonic, AESC, CATL and more. And even Tesla producing their own battery cells. Most auto manufacturers are going to try and source their batteries from them. But let's look deeper into the supply chain. What about the materials needed to make the batteries? Some of the main ingredients for EV batteries are lithium and graphite. In a 70 kilowatt hour Tesla Model S battery pack, there is around 63 kilograms of lithium carbonate, which is not yet lithium metal, but is a material ready for manufacturing, and around 54 kilograms of graphite per battery. Okay, so how much is that? Let's do a few very rough calculations. In 2021, there was around 80 million new cars produced in the world. Let's say by 2030, roughly half of new cars will be electric. So let's say 40 million. If each car contains 63 kilograms of lithium carbonate, it rounds up to 40 million multiplied by 63 kilograms, and that comes out as 2,520,000,000. Divide that by 1,000 kilograms to get the tonnage, and that comes out to 2.52 million tons of lithium needed. Global lithium carbonate production in 2021 was 100,000 tons only. So basically around 4% of what we are going to need. So basically 2,520,000 is a 2,420% 2 increase of 100,000. Also, looking at graphite, the situation is not as bad, but still there will be a shortage. In 2021, the total global production of graphite amounted to an estimated 1 million metric tons. This figure represents a slight increase compared to the previous year, but there is no huge increases happening so far. So, 54 kilograms multiplied by 40 million cars divided by 1,000 equals 2,160,000 tons needed. So we need to increase the production by 116% in order to meet the demand. That being said, let's look at what Tesla is doing. Tesla is going to go into mining. The mining industry isn't ready yet to deliver supplies of these materials in the kind of vast purified quantities that the battery manufacturers need. Which means, as RJ Scarringe, the CEO of Rivian Automotive, told Wall Street Journal that 90 to 90 percent of the supply chain does not exist and by looking at those rough numbers that looks about correct in an application filed with the texas controller's office where tesla is seeking to obtain relief on local property taxes the automaker describes a battery grade lithium hydroxide refining facility to be built on the gulf coast of texas they are also securing deals left right and center for supply nickel from indonesia graphite from australia and also tesla orges their suppliers to make more batteries and supply more material. Other automakers are also trying to secure contracts, be it not as big as Tesla but still 
However, once everybody is producing cars, demand and price will skyrocket, putting pressure on the bottom line for everyone. Tesla is actively trying to mitigate this by going into mining themselves. It will be interesting to see how the suppliers will be able to ramp up in the near future, but if 90% of the material is not there, that does not sound good so far. Let me know in the comments what other topics I should talk about. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks again and see you on the next one.